The Coyotes beat the Nashville Predators three games to one, and this is how they beat them. Hey guys, Brendan from It's a Hockey Night. Uh, again, another one of these videos, because so many teams got eliminated. I've got one more to do after the, oh no. Still got two more to record. I've got the Islanders and Chicago. Uh, they may be tomorrow. They, <laughs> at this rate, it is 9.30 p.m. I, I don't like my chances of getting them done uh, before any any normal time, but we'll, we'll get them out. We'll get them out. But <laughs> we'll see how we go. But yeah, uh, John Chaika kicking himself. Uh, 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 well, I don't know. Lord knows what his job is, but I think he's left this team at... Uh, at not a great time. A time when, oh, this is exciting. This is exciting. And, and this excitement may lead into Taylor Hall staying, but we'll get to that. So usually I run through uh, what the team they did against, uh, played against did poorly, and then um, uh, what, you know, and then the rest of the video is just a shrine to, to the team that won, in this case, Arizona. However, I don't think Nashville played poorly in the sense that, like, they've been playing at this level all year. They demand a lot of ice time from three of their defenders, um, six of their forwards, and everyone else kind of doesn't get to play as long, and, and that um, that hurts you in the long run, and, and I'll run through some of the things that, that that affected, but yeah, scoring from the bigger players worked, they just didn't get anything depth. 12 goal scorers to 7, um, and even strength goals are 11 to 7, um, yeah, that says a lot, like... I think that was the biggest advantage uh, for this team. Kemper played well. Um, they, their goalie played pretty well in net for Arizona. Uh, 9.33 save percentage. Um, I mean, it might be a bit of a worry down the road, the way he was kicking out rebounds. They were hard kicks, kick outs, but the way that um, Nashville was crushing, going to the net and didn't really have anyone staying back to pick them up, um, sort of in that middle like slot area, um, yeah, they were able to get away with it this whole series. And, um, and obviously, if... Yeah, if you're not exploiting something or or making any moves, which the coach wasn't, um, yeah, that, that that yeah, yeah. I mean, you can just get away with doing the same thing over and over again, right? Um, and yeah, the reason why I bring out the um, the lines, being able to roll them and and uh, and whatnot, it led to more scoring. It it led to um, more even strength scoring, which is very important. Um, I mean, special teams was mostly a wash. Uh, Arizona didn't get as many power plays, but, but you know, it's the style they play. It's very defensive. It's very trap. And, and that went very well, by the way. And we'll, we'll run into, um, that, uh, as well, but they were able to outscore in the third period, eight to three. I mean, that, that right there is a, a huge thing. Like they really closed out games outside of game one. Um, they were really able to close this out. If you take out game one, uh, when people are a bit rusted, when people have a little bit more energy and, you know, the grind doesn't set in, um, they outscored Nashville in the third period, 8-2. to two. So, yeah, they and they just, it's because they had legs. And that, that's including the overtime goal, by the way, in game four. But they just had legs. Like, the whole, the whole time, they just had legs. And it just slowly, it was like the start of a game would kind of be on Nashville's level and... And they would, you know, put more shots on net and they would be able to sort of dictate terms. And Kemper had to be very good at that point and the trap system had to be very good defensively. Um, but yeah, this is probably, uh, again, a bit more... Uh, probably the best all-round team performance that we've seen in, in this uh, play-in rounds um, thus far. I know Carolina uh, probably would, would put their hand up and say, hey, hang on, what about us? Um, like, you know, they had a bit more star power there that, that was able to carry a little bit more of the load, even though that was a full team effort. This was a full team effort, like an absolute full team effort. Um, they look dangerous on the PK as well. Grabner's looking really good. Um, you know, the power play looked okay, but everyone was able to score. All the stars, no one, you know, Kessel, Hall, they all had points. They were all point a game. No one really had a terrible series thus far. Defensively, they were great. They were able to get saves, but yeah, mostly it was that the games would start Nashville's way and then just slowly progress into Arizona's territory, and they were able to close out games. They And this might be a style and a team that could upset another team and maybe upset another one past that. Uh, but, you know, let's not get too out of ourselves. Nashville didn't have a great season. Um, they may have learned very quick that this door shuts early, but yeah, just no defensive depth and, uh, and Arizona was able to to definitely make the most out of that later in games. Um, they're a fit team too when, when fitness is an issue. Um, they, they look very fit 
and uh, and yeah, just able to it, it, like the the coach um Trocket uh, Troche, what's it, what's his name? Coach definitely has um, faith in every player in this team because he can just throw them out there. And um, Nashville, they just couldn't. They just they had to lean on all the heavy hitters. And the problem is then if they're not, you know, taking it on the back and having multi point nights, you're not gonna you're not gonna score. You're not gonna win these series. And a lot of the time, these series winners go to third liners, and and you know it's that greasy fourth line goal or that third line goal or that penalty kill goal that's the difference between winning, you know, game three, game four, um, then uh, then not. Like Brad Richardson scoring an OT, perfect example. Um, not that he's a bum or anything, but like, yeah, he's obviously not the superstar. But you know, he didn't need to be because everyone, you know, was at that was at that um, that level um, in being able to play and just have full faith in a team. And uh, yeah, like I, I think this is going to get interesting. Like I said, Kemper was really good. He made forty nine saves tonight. Like they they're definitely not perfect, um, but they were able to to keep. Uh, Nashville back, even though they tied it up late, they were able to keep them back and just keep that wall going because it was desperation mode um, and a level that Nashville hasn't really shown in the other games. And you know, again, it comes that little, little too little, too late to to move the needle up. But yeah, I think this was the most complete performance of any playoff teams thus far. There's not a huge amount to talk about here because it was this defensive system that isn't incredibly exciting, even though this game was very exciting. Um, you know, the system, I think, that puts in place means it's not the most exciting um, games around. But yeah, I mean, yeah, if you're Chaker, like, it's just... I can't believe that you just walk away from this team when... You know, you're going into Arizona now. It's not a good look. Um, they've been able to win it without him. Uh, not that, obviously, the GM helps right this minute. But, yeah, they've been able to win it without him. And, um, yeah, Sullivan gets his fir first series win <laughs> as a GM. So that's kind of cool. Uh, but, yeah, like, this team definitely has a lot to um, a lot to enjoy down the road. Um, no real fans. I noticed, like, a few of the underdog teams, when they get through, a few of the fans are like, oh, but we could have got Lafonier. I don't see many Arizona fans talking about that, so that's uh, so that's really good. Like I think just everyone's happy that they won a series, um, and they can move on. But yeah, I, I don't think they'll win a cup. I mean, they're just not that type of team. But they might do a little bit of damage here. They might do a little damage here. But yeah, I think a few people are going to scout Camper and the way he's getting the rebounds and and um, and yeah, make him adjust uh, adjust there because he's like kicking him out and they they're going far, but like it's definitely like can be picked up and just roof straight back. So. Um, so yeah, so it's just, yeah, just got to watch for that. Um, but a couple of defensive lapses every now and then, but ultimately, uh, a very good series and a good series win by Arizona. So well done to you, um, Arizona. Um, definitely thoroughly enjoyed, uh, especially that last game, even though today was just one of the longest days I've ever had to do covering hockey. Um, it just kept going <laughs> and everyone got eliminated in the same day. I was like, no, just, just you get eliminated one day and then do this. Cause these videos are just so long. Uh, usually I would be wearing an Arizona Jersey if I had one, um, like get a random Jersey every, um, fortnight. So, uh, might be getting one sooner rather than later. I've got like 14 of the teams now or something 12, I think. So we're getting there. Um, but yeah, uh, if you did like this, uh, video, hit the like button. Otherwise hit subscribe. Uh, I'm going to do uh, the other how-to video, how they beat them um, probably tomorrow, and then the season recaps of the lead uh, losers throughout the week as we get along, just because uh, I think I'm on what I did. Two live streams, I went for three hours, and I've posted four videos today. So, yeah, I'm I'm spent. This might be me. <laughs> I can feel it now. I can feel it now. So I'm going to edit this video, put it up, and then um, I think that'll be it for the night, and then we'll uh, go from there. But yeah, if you did enjoy this, uh, I mean, hit the subscribe. It really does help us out. I'm super happy for the Arizona Coyotes. Um, yeah, we just hit 109 subscribers as well. So really stoked about that. It's been a very good day, but obviously it's just starting to, <laughs> starting to hit me a bit. But yeah, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. See you and bye.